Welcome back to ESCC Kids Online. Today we will be continuing our Fruit of the Spirit series. We're currently at, we're currently at, hmm. You know what? Let's test our knowledge. Let's see if you can remember all the fruits of the Spirit that we've done so far in the correct order. You guys ready to do it with me? Let's go. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and today, faithfulness. Today, we're going to look at what it means to be faithful to God. You know what? I've asked some kids to join us in explaining what it means to be faithful. Hey guys, we're so excited to have Julie and Rebecca with us today to play this next game. So, hi guys. Hello. Hi. They both have a cup with them. They each also have a spoon. And by the way, the spoon and the cup are both the same sizes. And right in front of them, they've got a plate or a bowl full of sugar. So, <laughs> on my go, they're going to fill the cup with sugar only using the spoon. The first person to finish is the winner. Are you girls ready? Yep. Yes. Go for it. Go on, go on. It's so messy, oh my gosh. Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Is she finished? Yes, actually. What is it? It's not completely full. It can't, it, to the brim. it can't fill up to the brim. It's gonna mess it. It's not full yet. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rebecca is our winner. Gosh, you guys did really do that really, really quickly. Well done. You know what? That cup is now called. Sugarful. <laughs> a cup full wow. of sugar is called sugarful. <laughs> Thanks for playing, girls. Today, in our Fruit of the Spirit lesson, we're going to talk about the fruit of faithfulness. Like I said earlier, what do you think the word faithful means? Whoa. No, that's not quite right. It means to be full of faith. To be so full of faith that there's no room for anything else. We say that someone is faithful if we know that we can trust them to do what they say they will do, no matter what. We can say that someone is faithful if we know that they will never give up on us, no matter what. We can depend on them. In today's Bible story, it's going to be about three men who stayed being faithful even though it was extremely difficult. They were not going to give up on God, even if it meant that they would die. Yo, let's take a look and see if you can spot who stayed faithful to God. Nebuchadnezzar, Whoa. Babylonian king, Whoa. thought he was mighty. Whoa. He built an image, Whoa. made it out of gold, Whoa. gathered the people, Whoa. and said, Behold, Whoa. I've got this image, Whoa. when the music plays, Whoa. you all must be down oh, and you if you don't down, obey, fire. I've got this furnace Whoa. burning hot with fire. Whoa. I'll throw you in there, Whoa. you will expire. The people in the land did just as they were told. The music started playing, they bowed before the girls. They feared the brutal king, what he promised he would do. Everybody they obeyed him, everybody but a few. What will you do? Shadrach and me, 
shack Whoa. in the Benny go. Whoa. Heard the king's order, Whoa. but they all said no. No, 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 no. Whoa. Nebuchadnezzar, keep and hop and mad. Whoa. So you won't bow down. Whoa. Well, I'll make you wish you had. Whoa. Our God can save us. This we know is true. Doesn't we still won't listen to you? Heated up the fire seven times as hot. The soldiers threw them in. We're burned right there on the spot. The king looked in the fire, looked and was amazed. There were four instead of three standing in the fiery blade. Exit the fire and come talk to me. I don't smell smoke. How can that be? Your God has delivered you. I'm going to give you better jobs with a lot better pay. What will you do when you are put to the test? Will you obey God or bow down like the rest? He won't forsake you, you'll be your best friend. Wow, Whoa. that was quite a story. So we had to take a look and see if we could spot who was faithful. So who of you could tell me who in the story was faithful and how they were faithful? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego put their faith in God. They decided that they were going to trust God and keep believing in him, even if it meant that they had to die for it. They were not going to give up on God, no matter what. They were going to stand up for God and do what they knew was the right thing to do. God wants us to be like that too. He wants us to be so full of faith in Him and trust Him even when it's extremely difficult. He wants us to listen to what He tells us to do even when nobody else is doing it. Faithfulness is a fruit of the Spirit. That means that as we stay connected to Jesus, we will find it easier to be faithful to him. Other people might break our trust and let us down, but God never will because he is perfect. 2 Timothy 2 verse 13 says that even if we are not faithful to God, he remains faithful to us because he is a faithful God. Even if we are not faithful, he remains faithful faithful. Does anybody know what a captain is? A captain is someone who is in control of a boat or a sports team so they don't pull a Titanic. <laughs> a captain is who controls a boat to tell people what to do. You are absolutely right. A captain is somebody that's in charge of a team or a big ship or even an airplane. He makes the calls. He calls the shots and everybody else in the team follows his orders. We're going to play a game and this game is called Here Comes the Captain. Now, pretend that your room is a big boat and you are on the deck of the boat. All right? So, here's the instructions. When I call out starboard, it means everybody has got to run to the right hand side of the room. What is your right hand side? Take a step to your right. There we go. Okay, so back to the middle. When I call starboard, you quickly need to move to the right. When I say port, you need to go to the left. Okay? When I say captain is coming, salute. Salute. Okay. When I say scrub the deck, pretend that you're cleaning the deck, the, wall, the walls the roof with big scrubbing brushes and so on. Okay, when I say climb the rigger, this means you've got to pretend that you're climbing a rope, a ladder rope. There we go. Cool. And then two more. This one is called man the lifeboat. Oh my goodness. Man the life. Find your buddy. So <laughs> if you have somebody there in the lounge with you, go around and grab them and hug them. If you're alone, grab yourself and give yourself a nice hug. <laughs> Okay, and then last one, last one is called sharks. 
Do, 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 do. <laughs> you can lie down like Josh on the floor, <laughs> pretend that you're the shark in the ocean. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> right, you ready? We're going to do one practice round. Let's see. Hmm. Which one shall it be? Hmm. I know. Here we go. Are you ready? Scrub the deck. That's good. Girls, you were really fast. <laughs> All right, everyone. Remember, here are the commands again. Starboard, port, captain is coming, scrub the deck, climb the rigger, man the lifeboat, sharks. <laughs> All right. Let's see who can do, follow these commandments the fastest. All right, here we go. One, two, three, port. Go to your left. <laughs> this is All right, well done. All right, back into the middle, let's see. Climb the rigger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't scratch each other. Uh, let's see, shark. <laughs> good, good. All right, um, man the lifeboat. <laughs> That's a good one. Starboard. Go to your right. <laughs> Sharks. Slam the rigger. Is coming. <laughs> Shark. <laughs> Time to go. Captain is coming. You're getting very shocked at this. Scrub the deck. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, guys. Wow, oh. you really did follow these instructions really well. This captain can really count on you. Yo
Faithfulness means being loyal. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today we're going to be continuing in our series on the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And today we're going to be talking about faithfulness. Yeah, and faithfulness just basically means loyalty, being loyal to someone or something, being true to someone or something. And, you know, loyalty is very important to me. I think it's very important for for me to have loyal friends and for me to be a loyal friend and for me to be a loyal son. You know, I also think it's important to be true to yourself. You know, you might hear that sometimes. I think those are all very important things, but sometimes it can be really hard to kind of balance them. You know, okay, so the other day I was at my house and a friend came over and and he, we we were playing at the house and, and he went in, he had to go to the bathroom and he came back out and he said, he said, Douglas, your mom left her purse in the bathroom and I found this $20. And I was like, wait, what? And he said, yeah, yeah, I found this $20. Douglas, don't tell your mom. I, I know that you're a good, loyal friend. I know you won't tell your mom. And my brain felt like it exploded, okay? Like I, I, had no, I didn't know what to do because I wanted to be a loyal friend. You know, he said, he said I was a good friend and a loyal friend. I wouldn't tell my mom if I was a good friend. But, you know, it's my mom too. I got to be, I got to be a good son. And so I... I thought I, I felt like I had to betray one of them. I, I felt like I could not be a loyal son and a loyal friend. Like I had to choose one or the other. But I forgot someone very important that you and I should be faithful to. And that is God. We need to be faithful to God first. We need to be loyal to God first. We need to be true to God first. And when I thought about it that way, things became much more clear. Not necessarily more easy, but more clear about what I should do. And so I went to my friend and I told him, I said, you need to give my mom her money back or I need to go tell her. And, you know, he wasn't happy with me. And, you know, he and my mom and I, we, we, all, we all worked it out. And it was messy, but it all worked out in the end. We're still friends and, and, and I know I did the right thing. But I knew that God says that it's not okay to steal. And God also says that it's not okay to lie. And so if my friend asks me to lie about him stealing well if i'm loyal to god first i know that that's not okay so putting god first can really make things more clear you know it can be very hard to balance our loyalties our loyalty to our friends and our family and and to ourselves even you know but how do you how do you balance all of those loyalties well if you are loyal to god first if you are faithful to god first everything kind of falls into place doesn't mean that it's going to be easy but you'll know what to do And you know what? The more faithful that we are to God, the more faithful we'll be to our friends and our family and to ourselves too. Faithfulness is best when you put God first. God would love to help you fill your life with faithfulness. Wow. I think Douglas learned a very valuable lesson about faithfulness. It was quite the challenge for Douglas to have to pick between his friend or his mom must have been very difficult to tell on his friend. Your challenge for this week is to be faithful to God and to the people who you love. Challenge yourself to stay loyal to God and his word. Stay faithful. Your challenge to win the prize is to make your very own sock puppet. The most crazy looking puppet will win the prize. Speaking about crazy, Has anybody seen Dr. Justikoff? I think we need to go and take a look in his lab. Let's go. Hello, Dr. Justikoff? Hmm, I I don't seem to see him anywhere. What's this? To Justin and Sandre. Hmm. It's a letter from Dr. Justikoff. Dear children, I'm off doing one of my new inventions. I promise I will be back next video. Hmm. It looks like we're only going to see him next time. I, I guess we'll have to have faith that he'll show up in the next video. Well... We interrupt this weekly Children's Church ESCC Kids online video to bring you breaking news. From here on out, our challenges are going to look a little bit different. 
we're no longer going to announce the winner of the challenges in this video. We're going to announce the winner in our Zoom call that happens at about 10 o'clock. Which means that now you guys have the weekend to prepare your challenge. We encourage you to join the Zoom call where we play some fun games and do some discipleship. I look forward to seeing your crazy sock puppets in next week's Zoom. See you in the Zoom, guys. Alrighty then. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.